four days, 22 games, all showcasing the best in CIAA basketball. It is that homecoming, that feeling. Alumni come from all over, yeah. from our 12 member institutions, and they come together to celebrate the culture, the richness, the history of our HBCUs that yeah. are part of the CIAA. This week, the historic tournament tips off once again in Charm City. While basketball may be the main draw, the party extends off the court. We're making sure that we're showcasing our black and brown businesses, our retail. This is an experience that puts our city in the spotlight where we shine well. Mm -hmm. A spotlight that includes local creators. I didn't know what was going to come out of it. I did it with the heart mm -hmm. and now a message is being spread across the world. This morning, the excitement ahead of game day and how you can get in on all the action. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Newton and welcome to 11 TV Hill. The CIAA is one of America's oldest athletic conferences and the annual basketball tournament is one steeped in rich history. From its humble beginnings as a 2000 seat sellout at Turner's Arena in DC, the event is now a multi-day affair attracting thousands of fans and generating millions in revenue. Baltimore's relationship to that tournament goes back decades. In 1952, the then Morgan State College hosted the CIAA games at Edward P. Hurt Stadium. Flash forward some 70 years, the CIAA is calling Baltimore home once again, this time at the new CFG Bank Arena downtown. Joining us now is the CIAA Host Schools President, Dr. Amita Bro of Bowie State University. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having sure, me today. You, you guys did a great job last year. Now oh. you have to try to top that. <laughs> Tell me about the reviews from last year. It was amazing and far exceeded our expectations. Yeah. You know, we were just coming out of the pandemic, mm -hmm. so we weren't quite sure how everything was going to come together, but people turned out in droves. We had about 66,000 wow. people come out over the course of that week yeah. uh, for 22 games. We we brought about $20 million of economic value to wow. the city of Baltimore and to this region. So it was truly phenomenal. And the thing is, yes, basketball is the draw, but there is so much more going on it's with you guys in town. It's a whole experience. I mean, we come in and take over the city <laughs> and people come out to the restaurants and the uh, eating establishments are wonderful. The hoteliers are amazing. Yeah. The convention center is a buzz with all this great excitement with the events because it's more than just the games. The games are amazing. Sure. Come on in for the games, but around the city, you're going to see that cultural experience. Yeah. We have the step shows, the bands are uh, <laughs> doing their competitions. Yeah. So uh, we really want to be part of the city, part of the community. And so we also have our students giving back and they're going yeah. to do service activities. Yeah. And while they're adversaries, I mean, you guys are a family. I mean, oh, school yes, to school, we are. I mean, it was like a homecoming. Oh, have you been to an HBCU oh, yeah. homecoming? You know, we show up and you have the Divine Nine that are there. Yeah. They're going to probably be stepping a little bit in between the different events. And it is that homecoming, that feeling. Alumni come from all over, yeah. from our 12 member institutions, and they come together to celebrate the culture, the richness, the history of our HBCUs that yeah. are part of the CIAA and their 12 member institutions. So imagine 12 oh alumni, <laughs> you know, 30,000 thousand to 40,000 alumni for each of those schools. Yeah. So you know it's going to be a happening here yeah. in Charm City. And while it's a party, it also comes on anniversary as we talk about Title IX right now. Tell yes. me about Title IX, its effect on the CIAA and also the significance here. Well, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary uh, year, you know, starting in uh, 1972 to uh, 2022, there's been a long history. And what it's done is to open up opportunities for women to be able to compete, to have equality. But we still have a long way to go. We have to make sure that we're looking at the diversity sure. uh, across races too, because Title IX was focused on gender equity. But now we see there's still, uh, there's still some lagging behind with opportunities for people of color sure. to compete. But it opened up the pathway for so many women to be able to get out on their courts and to compete. But in other uh, sports, not just basketball, you know, but you look at you know, track and field and, and the like. But then with uh, the road ahead, we have to focus in on some of these other uh, sports, lacrosse, golf. Sure. Uh, how do we open up more opportunities for individuals, our women, our people of color to compete? But we're going to celebrate the, the excellence that we have seen uh, provided to our women to be able to compete over these last 50 years. So I'm really excited yeah. for those we're going to celebrate who have paved the way. But we got to make sure we reach back and bring some others along. So it's going to be an exciting time for the CIAA. And we're led by our Commissioner Jackie McWilliams, yeah. she herself 
was an athlete uh, on the court. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see uh, as we kicked off this CIAA, she and Mayor Scott, uh -oh. uh, they were out uh, on the court. Oh, they yeah. were shooting hoops <laughs> along with our president from Virginia State. Yeah. Uh, I bowed out of that one. <laughs> I just let them do their thing. But it was great fun, and they're bringing great excitement to uh, Charm City. You were talking about bringing people along. There might be some young folks watching now where Bowie could be a choice for them. Sell them on that because you turn out a lot oh. of folks in business, a lot of folks in communication as well. Yes, yes, and we're growing. We have about 6,300 students. We're located in Prince George's County. Uh. We are the oldest historically black college and university in Maryland, founded in 1865. Today we're preparing individuals to go out into the STEM areas. We're very, very strong in cybersecurity, the internet of things that where we're connected to all of our devices and electronics and appliances. Yeah. But we're also producing teachers and communications majors to come in and yeah. work with you. Uh, in the criminal justice area, you know, the CI uh, you know, the CIA kinds of yeah. uh, opportunities, NSA, because we're located just south of Baltimore, just outside of D.C., just north of Annapolis, and we sit on this wonderful train route that allows students to go in and out of any one of these cities, but there's great opportunity as we're growing, and then we're really proud of what we're doing with entrepreneurial and adventures, making sure entrepreneurship is infused throughout all the curriculums and disciplines. Okay. At Bowie State University in 2021, we opened opened a new entrepreneurship living learning community. It's a residence hall connected to an entrepreneurship center. Uh. And it's fully occupied. Students love it because they are able to do their pitch contests, work on a product, start a new business, and then they're able to participate in activities where venture capitalists are coming in to say, well, I want to invest yeah. in what you're doing. And so we have great excellence on our campus uh, with our entrepreneurship uh, opportunities. One of our students was even on Shark Tank oh, and wow. got $300,000 from Mark Cuban for okay. her legendary burger. That's a vegan burger, but it's more than that. Okay. I'm going to give her a shameless <laughs> plug here for our Bowie State University. They're doing a great job. And then just recently, you might have seen excellence with our student who did signing for yeah. the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, she was doing the signing for Rihanna and for Shirley Ralph, okay. and she was just amazing. So if you didn't have a chance to see that, yeah. that's an exemplar of Bowie State University. And you're easy to get to. The train comes right through campus. We yes, love it does. We will be Bowie fans coming Thank up for the Thank you Saturday. so Good much. You, Come Dr. on Brown. out and celebrate the Bulldogs, but all the excellence yeah. with this CIAA. We're looking forward to it. Thank you Thank so much. You. Certainly.